everyone, it's Daphne from Scrap and Create. I'm so excited to share this project. This is a new project that um, I haven't done before. I, I'm talking about the style of the project. This is an explosion album. Um, so when I lift the lid, some interesting things are going to happen. But before I do that, I'm going to share with you some of the details. So on the top here are the Graphic 45 Precious Pink um, roses and I know they don't really look pink they look more salmon and it's worked perfectly with this this collection so this is all done in a Chow Bella my first year collection and if you look at the show more in the description you'll see each one of the packs that I use to make this and it took a lot of paper and part of that is because um, there's 12 pockets uh, one for each month of the first year. So that's a lot more pages than I'm used to putting together. And then of course the box itself is kind of an interesting new idea for me. So here I've got a cut apart just from one of the papers in the collection. These are cut aparts as well and they're backed with cardstock. And then here I've got just two pieces of cards, uh, designer paper backed by cardstock. I've got two elements of filigree, which I think just make it perfect and then I made this little uh, banner here which I think is great and just if you want to make your own it's one inch wide and then I scored every quarter inch and that's how I made that and it's 12 inches long one by 12 score every quarter inch and you can make your own this is a cut apart so that's the front the side the back and the other side and now let's get to the interesting part Oh, isn't that fun? <laughs> so here's the inside of the lid. And then I'm going to try to be careful to keep everything in frame, but it's pretty large. So on each one of the panels that fall away or break away from the box, there's a pocket. And in, in that pocket is um, a bifold card with one of the main features or main cut aparts. Uh, from the 12 by 12 collection and I use these again inside but I um, use them from the 6 by 6 there you go and then lastly there's one way up here on the back side so plenty of room for uh, journaling and or adding additional photos okay now that you've seen that we're gonna start to flip through the album <clears throat> And instead of designing the album to flip this way, I actually did it so that it would flip this way. So on page one, you've got the day, time, year, height, and weight. Um, and these are cut aparts from the collection and just cardstock backed. And each one of these 12 pages is a pocket. And in the pocket is a bifold for tons of photos. So that's the first one. And I'm going to go through this slowly because I did not cover this in the tutorial. Um, they're just flat backed designer papers. These are cut aparts with cardstock. This is from um, the, I think, A4 collection. Oh, it's stuck on something. It there it goes. There it goes. And then just a simple bifold with lots of rooms for photos. These bifolds, finished bifolds are six by six. And then I added these little elements um, throughout the book. <clears throat> and here's the six by six version of that image. I'm here, three months, six months, one year, and it's also a bifold. So each one of the inserts is a bifold. And I don't know why it's stuck together, but it is. There we go. With designer paper on the middle pieces, the back and the front. So you have this beautiful space for photos and then I've left this open-ended so that you can place your photo in here or just beneath the edge. 
And of course there's photo space here. This tab, which is fussy cut and cardstock back is from the collection as well. This is open and it has an insert as well. And then this is open on the top and this is open on the side for so you can slip photos. So you have room for photos on each side plus the insert itself. Beautiful, beautiful. There's my first tooth, isn't that cute? So that's open so you can nest your photo in there and so is this. And then this is the uh, insert for additional photos. I'd be tempted to do all my photos on the inside um, so that pushing them in and out of the pocket would not obstruct it. But you can do both, you just might have to work a little harder to get it in the pocket. Now one of the things I did um, is I made this pocket page twi uh, a quarter of an inch wider than the insert so that as you added elements to your insert and the pocket starts to move in from the sides, you'd still be able to get it in. So I did that deliberately. So if it's empty, it feels like it's very roomy, but the more papers you add on top of the inserts, the less space you'll have. Okay. This is a fun collection. I really enjoyed it. So I'm going to pull this back in. Here's our little tag for memories. And here's our little tuck spot here. And we have another insert. Isn't that cute? It reminds me of like maybe your first picnic. <laughs> of course, it's supposed to be, well, right here it shows spaghetti. But I think of a barbecue when I see just the colors and the <laughs> sauce on the face. There's the inside the back. That's an insert. Hello, my first year. This is one of the cut apart cards, which I cut apart even further. Um, it was a card that was, I think, three by four, and this was on the bottom. So I fussy cut it out, layered it on top just to make this element a little bit smaller. Down here it says play date. So cute. This is the beautiful balloons that I used on the cover, and I loved them. And I chose them because I thought they were most gender neutral. Here we go for the inside and the flip side. Here we have an open-ended tag and an open-ended bunny, my first steps. So I tried to look at the milestones that were noted on the cards and put them in the order that they would most likely occur. So this is actually on month 10, which sometime between 10 and 11 is where the first steps occur. And then this is just a fun photo of the shower and the baby. And then this is my first dance and a cute moment. And of course, all of these are open-ended. Now this, I'm going to show you and then I'm going to tell you I made a mistake and you'll see it right away. So this coordinates beautifully. But then I did this, and I don't ever do that. <laughs> I did the same image on both sides. So that was kind of an accident, um, but that's how my papers wound up. <laughs> and if you watch the tutorials, you'll hear me talking about sort of sequencing the images for the inserts and then how to add the images for um, the pocket pages. This is I'm one year old which actually occurs on this page because this is the 12th flap. But when they're open together, the layout becomes the 12th month. Okay, there's an open edge, my first party. Because I'm one. And then here's bedtime. Isn't that pretty? So there you go. That is the, and that just says baby, that is the and I'm going to go slow. My first year from Ciao Bella. And my first explosion album. There are 12 pocket pages. 
and a bifold insert for each page. And this can easily hold over 70 photos. And that's assuming they're all four by six. If you decide to do smaller photos, like two four by fours, you can get even more. And that's also assuming you're not putting photos in the pockets. So there's a ton of space. So a photo here, photo here, four photos on the inside, 70 photos in total. That's a lot. So with that, I'm gonna go ahead and close it up. I'm gonna leave the inserts out because I'm gonna take some photos after this and post it online. And I'm gonna show you how to close the box too. So the best way to close the box is to hold the three sides and pull the box on from the back. And then while you do that, bring up the front and then just nest it over the top. So you don't have to try to hold four corners at the same time. I love this album. I've seen a few. Ginger Rock does one that's really beautiful. She does hers so that the pages move left to right instead of front to back. Um, and I can't even tell you the size, but um, I've seen it and I think hers is 12 pages too, but I'm not sure. Um, but I think it's a pretty common um, design element when you're doing these boxes because you need a square, which means one of the sizes is gonna be the spine and that's a lot of pages, right? Compared to the box that I did before, um, which was a shallow box, which meant I could have a very short or thin spine. So this worked out beautifully. I'm really happy with it, the way it turned out. Um, the whole box is chipboard and so is the bottom. So the, the top and the sides are all chipboard and the pages are all cardstock. So I hope you guys enjoyed this walkthrough and I'm going to fan out real quick all the inserts that we went through. And just remind you how much photo space we have. Just so much. And then I'm going to post these photos on our Facebook. And of course, the tutorial is now available on YouTube if you want to build one of your own. The box itself, the, the tutorial has been available for a week. But now if you want to decorate it, um, especially if you want to use the Chow Bella collection, you can uh, follow along and make one of your own. Thanks everybody for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create. If you're not a subscriber, please consider subscribing to our channel and hit that notification bell and you'll be notified every time we have new content. We try not to barrage people unless we actually have something you can work on. My goal is to always release a project in its entirety. So if you see it and you love it, you can build it. Thanks again for tuning in. This is Daphne from Scrap and Create.